Let's get more now on the investigation. CBS News Chief Justice and Homeland Security Correspondent Jeff Pegues has been speaking with law enforcement sources all day, and he's here with new details tonight. Investigators are now combing the crime scene, looking for clues, starting with the identification of that RV. A bomb scene is rich with evidence and forensics. Chris Swecker spent years working bomb scenes when he was with the FBI. They may find pieces of the car that uh, lead them to who owned the car, who rented the car, etc. To help identify leads in Nashville, federal investigators will use forensic analysis from previous incidents involving explosives. At this secure Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives site in Huntsville, Alabama, you can feel the bomb blasts even from 200 yards away. Wow. <laughs> Glad I had these in my ears. ATF officials tell us what is left of an explosive device is preserved for a reason. We're going to try to recreate, we're going to collect as much of the evidence left over from the bomb. It doesn't all go away. And that is what is happening now in Nashville. The ATF and FBI will look at everything left behind, all to track down the suspect or suspects responsible. Catherine Swite is a former FBI agent. This is an opportunity on, on a holiday like Christmas and to in a big city like Nashville to make a splash and get their name out there. So I think we're going to see uh, somebody who wants to be known. In the past, extremists have targeted Christmas to carry out attacks, hoping for maximum exposure. Sources tell CBS News that this year nationwide, the threat level was assessed as low heading into the holiday major. Jeff Begays, thank you.